Hello, you to strawberries, and welcome back to the Disney Drawing Challenge, hosted by Crazy Comic Lady, Sam Fiasum, and yours truly. Today I'm working on prompt number three, which is draw a character as a mermaid or merman. Uh, for this picture, oh my, well, first of all, thank you everybody who came out to the live stream and helped with, you know, figuring out the pose and stuff, and for your suggestions. Um, I decided with this picture, two things. One was the suggestion among a list of suggestions from one of my friends. And then I was looking up the fish zebra turkey fish because I don't know what it is with mermaids, but I just really like, especially when I was looking at mermaid pictures and just fan art in general, I really adored the mermen or mermaids who looked more like fish, if that makes sense. Instead of just putting the top half of a character and cutting out the bottom and just putting a tail on, I don't know. It's okay with me, but I'm just like, I, I just find the ones that are more enmeshed with the fish to be a lot more interesting. So I was looking up the zebra turkey fish and it is poisonous and... I noticed there was a black and white version and that they're supposedly really elegant. So I was thinking, hmm, with the suggestion and that in mind, I decided to do Corella de Vil. And a lot of people have been drawing Corella too. It's really, I'm really shocked. Like, wow, she gets a lot of love. I mean, it's great because, you know, she's quite the character indeed, but <laughs> it really was a surprise. A good surprise. And for this picture, I decided to do it traditionally because I've been trying to get more into the traditional side. For some reason, I just keep falling on the deep, the digital stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try and keep it traditional for to, uh, the next prompt as well. But with this one, I did most of it during like most of the sketching process during the live stream. And then you'll see me switch gears to just my regular camera and recording the coloring process. Um, I do apologize too for the jumps in lighting just because when it comes to watercolors, because that is what I decided to use for this because it's been a while, um, you have to let it dry between layers and then time passes. And I really, I tend with watercolor pieces in particular, I just want to keep working on them as soon as possible. I wouldn't say it's necessarily because I'm impatient, but I just, I just, wanna, I can't want to keep working on it. So, um, yeah, that's what ended up happening with this video. I am a little rusty with watercolors, I have to admit. So it's not quite what I imagined, but it also, I've come to notice this recently with my art is things don't necessarily turn out how I want, but they also go in a sort of direction that I hadn't originally anticipated, but I like it. So <laughs> It, that's kind of what happened with this piece. I really wanted to show, um, I wanted there to be a blue tint to everything because definitely when, you know, it's summertime. So if you guys ever go to the pool, you should take some goggles with you and look underwater and just notice how everything has a bluish tint to it because light scattering and all that fun stuff. So, um, You'll see me doing that as like the first layer over everything. And then I'll try and go back in with other colors to, you know, add that depth and get the shading and stuff. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really, I missed watercolors so much. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It had been, it just had been so long. And, um, thanks to crazy comic lady suggestion during the stream. Um, I ended up putting flounder and, Sebastian's claws in there because I had a feeling that maybe Corella since you know she still has that fashion sense and she has her taste in killing animals <laughs> uh yeah she she took Sebastian for herself and then in this picture Flounder's like I better get out of here and save myself it's too late for Sebastian <laughs> unfortunately but she's like hmm what should I do next and that's, I have to give props to Crazy Cop Lady for that. Cause I honestly, after prompts one and two, I kind of, I kind of fell off the wagon a little bit with thinking of a story for, or any interaction. And that was the whole point of me trying to do th things for this challenge. So it's like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for that CCL. I owe you one. <laughs> um, 
Speaking of CCL and Sam, definitely check out their videos. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to suggest a couple of other videos I've seen for this challenge. And I'm going to put them in the description because they definitely deserve a lot more love. And it's just been, it's been really fun, you know, while I'm working on these and waiting for the paint to dry, I've been going through Instagram and just looking at some of the things that other people created. It's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get going here, guys. But thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to participate, because this is open to everybody, you know, um, just follow the prompt and then tag your piece with Disney Drawing Challenge 2017. And make sure it says 2017 so we can find it quickly and give it a shower with love. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks again for watching. And I will talk to you guys in prompt number four. Until next time.